Okay, they, you, you also would have to basically crawl, but you guys would have a little bit more room than the humans in the L. Okay, okay, so who yeah. wants to go for it? What was that? Is my voice changer working? Through. Yes, it, it is. is. Yeah. Sweet. I'm back. Sorry for the uh, technical difficulties. Not at all. Just. Finding out who is going where or who's going first. Hey, yeah, you were saying, Ryan? Uh, well, if the hole's really small, then maybe me or Dr. Professor should go. Well, they, the fighters can fit through as well. Yeah. Yeah. There's no, like, you know. Issue. If you guys remember the, um, some of the passageways that were in the Gnome Barrel Town where you fought the goblins. How you guys were how Minelfi and Professor were able to walk through them through the through the hallways while everyone else had a stoop. Well this is something like that, but even you guys are it though it's narrow enough where even you guys would have to crawl. But you would actually have more room than say um, uh, a human, um, like Ephesir, who's just able to, even with the shield on his back, able to go through the tunnel. Every so often you'd hear the scraping of the metal of uh, metal shield on on, on the um, earth of mm -hmm. And then Jared would have to would have to put his sword on his back and Try to get disengaged from roots and whatnot as he's going through. <laughs> it's that type. Of, um, it's that type of uh, positioning. Oh, dread! It's like putting a square pig in a round hole. It's just. Ah. I'm used to this. You know, square pegs yes. actually fit in round holes. You just have to make them smaller. <laughs> or you force them through. Yeah. It's just they make a little bit of bacon on the side. You've just got I to cut make off noise the before we go in. So, who's going to go in first? Haha, <laughs> that'd be me. Okay. Mark, do I hear anything? Again, you hear the plinking of droplets of water. It seems a little bit pink. I think we're approaching a water source. All right, Sonero. I tap you on the back twice. You're free to go. Oh, oh hey. Oh, oh it's you. Okay. <laughs> okay. So. Um... As you realize the might go just like under your neck. I might have to go last because I'm, if I get stuck, there's going to be a problem. All right, I'm back. So I right. decided I'm probably going to go last because I'm going to get stuck. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, I think I catch up to speed. Uh, there is a hole that is uh, where the tracks are leading, and we have to crawl through it. Yeah, it's up oh, towards the totally. ceiling. I mean, yeah, well, it's up towards the ceiling. It's a crawl space, maybe about three and a half feet in diameter. Um, even Melopony and the and Glimmergear have to basically get on their hands and knees to crawl through, um, even at their height. It is wide enough, barely to four. Um, you guys to go through, like I said, um, every so often you hear the earth and scraping against uh, the shield of Ephesir. Um, Jer has to reach up behind him to disengage, disentangle his sword from roots that, are, that got caught up with it. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, oh, uh, damn root. <laughs> so there's roots poking down through the ceiling. <laughs> Don't make me make root beer out of you. Well, at least if I have to do something, I know my entangle spell will. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I just get through this section as quick as possible. I will go in crawling, but the staff will lead in the front, and I'm ready to turn that bitch into a snake if I see anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a bad plan. I'd have my laser, I mean, wand uh, out. He's got a Star Trek phaser. Yeah. I think Sanero's going first. So. I know. Aha! Uh -huh. Yes. But just in case we get, you know, ab abducted. Mm, yeah. What do you, Sanero, what do your non elven eyes see? I don't know, it's awfully dark in here, because I can't see in the <laughs> Nice. Ooh, good idea. And I'll, I'll take a pole and pass him a lantern. Haha, <laughs> okay. that's better. Uh, <laughs> if, you'd like, I, if you'd like, I have one light spell memorized. I could cast it on a coin, and you could carry that with you. It's a little smaller and won't set you on fire if you break Could you cast it on my uh, golden pin on my cloak? Yeah, I cast it on anything. Is it a continual light spell? The kind that lasts for, you know, nope, hundreds of years? It'll, it, nope, it, nope, it will run out. I just gotta look and see what the duration Might be an hour. I thought it was like two rounds per level. Is it? Last Look spell for me is one hour. It's a turn per level, so it'll last for one hour and four turns, or an hour and 40 minutes. Okay. And it makes a 20-foot globe, global radius of light on whatever it's casting. Oh, the lantern's got a 30-foot radius, so... It's one less hand I you know, need to use the... And like I said, if it gets hit or he falls on it inside the tunnel, it won't break open and splatter and burning oil. Sure, your spell. Well, I did, I did kind of memorize it for something like this. I was figuring we'd get stuck underground sooner. Yeah, works for me. You should cast the light spell on the lantern. I cast it on his weapon if you want. I figure you're going to be poking that ahead of him anyway. Stick it on this, and I hold out uh, something that looks similar to uh, the new guy's weapon. I'll cast it on it. You have an hour and 40 minutes before it fades out. Sweet. Wait, it's a laser pistol as well. No, it's not a laser pistol. But it looks like mine. Similar. Okay. So I, I pull that out. And I pull uh, a main goat show. And I begin crawling. Okay. All in there. Um, yeah, it becomes a... It gradually becomes into an artificial masonry rest of the tunnel. Ceiling height, and what appears to be some sort of mausoleum. But you see two sarcophagi. One is half buried in the rubble that caused the collapse of the fissure that you're following. The other basically um, is resting on a stone floor, but a but a, co a corner of it is in what seems to be a puddle of water, or a pool of water. Hmm. 
And that's what you see, Snap. All right. Um, I kind of back out a little bit and just look down at the crew. It's like, hey, so there's like two sarcophaguses, and it looks like there's a, a room ahead. Interesting. Okay. It doesn't really say anything in the room for creatures other than, you know, our previous experience with the sarcophaguses. So I kind of want to make a ballista, but, you know. I, I want wonderful one with that natural 20 I can actually turn them on me. Uh, what's your level, uh, Edselor? <laughs> Only fourth. <laughs> I need a natural 20 to turn a mummy. I got a decent chance for a shadow or down. I probably could get a white, maybe a gas, but wraith or a mummy are hmm. kind of out of my league. Yeah, oh. I, I need to get in there sooner then. Yeah. Well, I'll send Kazmir in. I don't think the trap will spring itself just yet. Okay, so I'll crawl in there uh, pretty soon. Uh, I mean, who's in there now? It's just an arrow that I can go in after. Yeah. Uh, I'll follow you to back you up. I need a 16 for a mummy. It's not too bad. It's not a 20. Okay, so once everyone's in there, whoever's going to be in there. Hey, yo, Mark. Yes, this, this drawing. Is it accurate? More or less. Um, not quite. All right, well. I'm going to be pacing. I do have a map, uh, a rudimental map of the room. I'll be placing you guys in there. Okay. You guys are in your boat. Is there any markings on these sarcophaguses? Yeah, I'm back. I'm sorry about that. I was going to fall asleep if I didn't get something to eat. Just the action of even making something had to to wake me up. Um. So yeah. Uh, I need uh Casimir to make a wisdom check. Casimir make a wisdom check. Everybody in the room make it or just Casimir? Just Casimir. Um, each, okay, so let me finish reading this, uh, description, each, now that you're in the room, each of the stone lids bears the relief sculpture of a reclining man, presumably the deceased. Ornate carvings ordain the walls of the, ch or, or adorn the walls of the chamber. Okay. Right. So, the can I try one? Can I try one thing? Would it be making a check on my undead lord, would it give us a good indication of what we can expect when we open these things? 
Mm. Okay, so he might. Uh, Kazmir, so you passed that? Yeah, I rolled an 11. I'm good. Basically, there there are inscript inscriptions in ancient Trolodon. Woohoo! Uh, you can make them out. I mean, ba barely make them out. Basically, praising the various um, immortals. No mention of Hala, Petra, or Zerchef, which are the big three, and now in the modern myth uh, story. Modern pantheon, I should say. Okay, until something happens, I pull out a piece of uh, parchment or whatever and a pen and start writing down notes about these old immortals. Because I just know about the new one. Yeah, basically you make out names like Wotan and Teal. T-Y-R. Tear? Yeah, T-Y-R. Uh, yeah. Um, Kagyar. K A G Y R G no K A G Y A R and Ordana. Okay, so anything um any oh uh, was the does it look like the body got dragged through here? Um, it's hard to tell now. Okay, guys, so we've got these tombs. Yep. I put the the names in and just. Cool. Um, so these guys, these these guys are from. I can tell uh, they're from before the time of the immortals that are worshipped now. And so this is an old, old, old. Tale. Mm -hmm. Like I don't know, a thousand years old, maybe. Interesting. Uh, are the coffins identical? Or do they... Uh... From what you can make out, they're the same shape. Each contain a different person. You can just make out the, the effigies, if you want to call them that, carved on the lids of the sarcophagi, and they are definitely two distinct personalities. Is one a male and one a female? Both male. Both male. Hmm. Okay, and the them? names the names of the immortals are inscribed upon this, but what about the names of the people buried here? Mm, not that you can make out. Where did the... Uh... Not, not that you can make out, that he doesn't understand it, or that he doesn't, he doesn't, doesn't see it? Just probably fade because of time. Um, uh, again, like you said, this this could be over a thousand years old. Um, anywhere between eight hundred to to a thousand years old. Uh, so, so where'd the tracks go? What was that for? Where did, where did the, the tracks? tracks? Not certain. We've seen the lost track room. The main. Where did they end off at? Basically, right in this room. Oh, they ended off in that room. Okay. So. No, I'm just pinging to see if that was. The room. Is that <clears throat> is that no more dust? 
No more dust in that room. No, it's no dust. <clears throat> um, besides the besides the collapsed section which buries this sarcophagus, it seems pristine. Um, I think it's faded from time. There's a puddle or a pool of water in this in this corner. Hmm. How deep is the puddle? Mm. About three feet deep. It's a pretty deep puddle. And this is where you can hear the plinking of water dropping into the pool. Can I see if it leads off anywhere, or is it just a puddle? The pool that's three feet deep. Right. Gradually, as you can tell, it's just gradually from the drippage of water coming through the earth above. Mm -hmm. Um. Anybody have any ideas? I'm we have to open this sarcophagus. One of them is the entrance through. It's a yeah. secret door. That's what I was thinking as well. The other mother must be trapped um, there. Chair. Nick, give me a D6. D6 roll. D6. It's a secret door. Yep. Boom. Yeah, right, on, in the right in the side of the collapsed of the covered sarcophagus. Um, you do recognize the outlines of a Secondary panel. Oh, guys, look. There's the outline of a secondary panel here. I wonder <laughs> what it does. <laughs> okay. Um... So, somebody clever, go figure out how it opens. Yeah. I begin to feel around about the outline of the secondary panel. Hmm. Well, it, there's a panel. It's got a mechanical in nature. I wonder if there's a way of triggering it based on how we touch up this, uh, we touch up this sarcophagus. Uh, I touch up this effigy. I'm going to go for his eyes, press his eyes. Okay, well, yeah, you look at the eye, you notice that the right eye is actually missing. Oh. oh. I'm going to stick my finger in there and wheel it about. <laughs> See if I can press down a latch or a button. Click. Say goodbye to your finger. You hear a, a satisfying click. <laughs> and, and, and the sound of he still almost fucked up. And then a sharp burning pain in the tip of your finger. And the sound of stone on stone as the panel, that entire side of the sarcophagus, uh, lowers about an inch. Mm. I'll, uh... Anything else happen? To take the uh, panel and push it out the way, then, yeah? Push it all push the way, it all down. way down. Okay. Sure enough, it leads into a... The air is, in, as you do, you can hear the sound of running water. The air seems quite moist. Well, this is neat. I wonder what was in the other sarcophagus. Is there a, um... Mechanism on the other sarcophagus? Not can tell. Not that I can tell. Okay. Let's see, if I was designing a dungeon like this, if anyone tried to uh, mess with that other sarcophagus, it would release poison gas. Yeah. Sounds about right. 
Or darts. Ooh, darts are a classic. Well, then you'd see dart holes, though. Not if the not if the lid like moved up like a pneumatic uh, pneumatic piston. Uh, mine would already some undead little drains with the amulet of uh, turning protection. Them. Oh, I like that style. That's a good mm, A plus. And I'll start by climbing into the hole that the uh, panel made on the side of the sarcophagus. Oh, okay. Anyone's gonna follow Brumagear down to this little cord and we'll talk a little cross. Yeah, might as well. You only die. Aha! Uh -huh. Well, sometimes. Yep, yep. Yep, I'll go down. Uh -huh. I'll bring up the rear. <laughs> <laughs> Call space beyond this box ends quickly, intersecting with a walkway that lines a great tunnel built of quarried stone. The tunnel houses a dark shimmering canal which flows alongside the walkway. Okay, I guess we follow the walkway. Ephes here, make a intelligence check with a minus two, please. Oh. My intelligence is very, really good. I pass. Hmm. She never recognized the stonework. Hmm. Is it or like style a... style of I should say. Oh. Okay, so it's a very old style, obvious. Um, so is it like a building material, like building, like, do, what do they use it for? Pathways, buildings, what kind? Maybe traps? Mm. Get the whisper? Yeah, I got it. Okay. Uh, okay. Hmm. Seems it's a very familiar material. Sort of Nithian made. Did you guys hear me? Yeah, Nithian, right? Yeah, Nithian. Uh, I know so much about them. Why don't you what go first, though? About what the how fuck's a nympho? No, Nithia. What the fuck's a nympho? That, that's when they they crave sex. Oh, hi, Mel. But, like, the kingdom of Nithia? 
You guys don't know. <laughs> You're what making that, that up. No, that's actually. <laughs> I ain't never. I've sailed plenty of places. I never heard no fucking kingdom of Mithia, Nithia, Podithia. I've already forgotten the name. It's clearly not that important. Nymphia, Nymphia, Sinera, Nymphia. Their their armies were bolstered Ah, by magic items Ah, everywhere. Ah, 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 Nymphia. Okay, I got you. No, 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 no. Yeah, Nithia. Yep, I've heard of Nymphia. To the nymphs live, isn't it? Isn't it the Feywild or something? It's the place of wild women and no child support. No. <laughs> <laughs> Don't remind me. Oh my god. Nithia. You, you keep saying it like that. I think I think it's your accent. Wait till like Nymphia sounds much better. Honestly, it does, you know? I agree with Adslor on this one. I think we should just change the name to Nymphia and we call it a... uh, Who's gonna fight us? They're all dead! <laughs> yep, or if your sentence to death is carried out by a blonde, a brunette, and a redhead, and a traditional man. Paul dancing. Just hold... I, I just, uh... Pinch my nose. And... Aggravation. It's a weird architecture. That one in script speaks up. I most likely built by the Nithians. A culture so ancient that they even predates the Shroud of Darren. Not quite as many phallic symbols as you would expect from Nympho- Nymphos, though. It's probably like under under everything. They probably put it on the other side, so like they're secretly nymphos, you know? They want people to know outwardly. This is a lot more advanced than your kingdom. I mean that that sounds like good news right there, advanced nymphos. <laughs> no. Nymph- I mean, put, not beginners, but advanced. Alright. I mean, clearly they, uh, they didn't succeed. Their armies, their armies were bolstered by magical items. And... They're all dead. That oh. sucks. Apparently. All in all, uh, the construction seems very good still. It's still a very good condition. Oh, these tiles are nice. Look at them. Such wonderful construction. Hmm. Reminds me of home. So, uh, which way? Or can we see any tracks? Unfortunately, by this time, the tracks have faded. Okay. Well, once we come out of the secret tunnel thing here, which options do we have for direct? Basically, you can go south towards the sound of the waterfall, which is quite nearby, or north, following the canal. Hmm. Maybe there's something behind that waterfall. Yeah, I have a waterfall as well. Wait, let's check the waterfall for traps. A massive, we, have, a massive, we haven't gotten to the waterfall yet. A massive yeah, pavement yeah, blocks the end of the tunnel. Water tumbles down from a rocky shelf high on the slope of the collapse, emerging from some unseen opening into a filled canal below. Mm. So you said there was an opening? Yes, there is an opening. Wait, 
Ryan, are you sleeping? Nope. Oh, 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 sorry. You're a fashion cat. My, my cat. Let's see. That's a scary sounding cat. <laughs> yes, he, like has, gonna... he has an anal problem. Oh. What you do to him? Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Uh, by, by, by that I meant uh, nasal. Yes. Nasal oh. problem. I see. <laughs> What'd you do to him? <laughs> yeah, what'd you do to him? Oh, uh, he, he snuffed uh, a line of cocaine once. Oh, I see. Whoops. I mean, that happens sometimes. That happens to the best of us. Moving right along. Uh, so we see, we hear a waterfall, or we see a waterfall? You guys we hear, you basically hear and see it. Is it the only path forward, or the mobile No, path? to the south of where you came from the tunnel, there's the waterfall. And the canal that, that you see runs north from the waterfall. Oh. Was that Scritch getting murdered? That was great. You got, yeah. Scritch was. You guys check out the waterfall. And you guys, and Scritch was attacked. Oh, snap. What happened to him? You got graves. And then the we were whisked away to a beautiful grotto with a waterfall in it. So he said the stone is alive? Yeah, he was attacked by Grey Ooze. Okay. This is where we're at. I forget whether Grey Oozes eat up weapons. Oh, we fought one before, right? Yeah, we fought one before. They yeah. probably eat up non metal weapons. No, they eat up everything. And then they also uh, they also talk to people with their minds. Well, good thing I have a laser pistol. I mean, wand of strong magic missile. I wish to put arrows into the gray ooze. Can it be damaged by non-magical means? I don't. Oh yeah, remember. no. We had a lot of problems because it ate a bunch of our weapons. Yeah, and but it, can it still be? Well, no, I wasn't. No, it, it can totally be damaged. Yeah. No, I was talking to uh, Casimir. Okay. When I said remember, fire damage. It was a big thing. Was it fire damage? Ah. That I did not remember. Thank you. We have flat. We have lanterns, so I know somebody's carrying some flask of oil. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I've got flask of oil. <laughs> Me personally, I'm magic missile in the damn thing. Yeah, you assholes! Cool. You ate like six of my darts. That <laughs> <laughs> is true. <laughs> then I don't have that token for the hot. Oh. If you find any eggs, keep them alive. Gray ooze has eggs. Yeah, really. Yes, they do actually. What like the fuck? Egg. I thought yeah. they reproduce just by splitting pieces of yourself. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. They do not. They have they eggs. Have eggs. They, yeah, they bud and make eggs, right? No, they fishing. They fishing? They 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 split apart just like any other uses. You sure? <laughs> Silver ooze gone fishing. <laughs> ah, tough crowd. I liked it. <laughs> <laughs>
I was thinking that, but I let you say it first. Okay, flask of oil. Yeah, it, they do lay eggs. It buds. So it makes a reproductive bud. Who's eggs? That's what I'm talking That's about. Reproductive bud. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what you know, I, ha I have a na I have a nasty feeling. I hadn't fought one in a long time, but I have a nasty feeling these bastards are immune to magic. That's what's scaring me, and I can't remember. But I'm gonna fire a magic missile. We'll see in just a minute. That's right. Okay, so. Pound him with your magic missile. So is it time for initiative? <laughs> is it time for initiative? How many oozes do we see? And is uh, is, is Scritch still alive? Scritch is still alive, yes. Okay. I got nine. Actually, that'd be like a four, so it's not bad. Yeah. I have no clue what these things actually do in combat besides the whole melt your weapons thing. Well, they may basically melt everything. Oh, well, you can extrapolate based on. You know. No, it's not gelatinous cube. It's very. Hmm? Oh, gelatinous, gelatinous, gelatinous oh, yeah. cubes. Don't, your gelatinous cubes don't fuck with the metal. They only. Eat organic yeah. material. I remember that. I just don't remember gray use. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they corrode metal. Yeah, I'm thinking they're kind of like a rust monster if metal's their thing. Mm -hmm. But I don't remember. <laughs> wait, so, oh, Sanira, how'd you roll a. Oh, wait. Wait, I know how you. Okay. Yeah. Right. Shh. <laughs> I, I, wanna, I don't want to spoil it. Just occurred to me. It's his pistol, isn't it? He just went dead silent after that. Shh. It's like, so you're probably so speedy. Huh. What's going on? Oh, that's what's going on. <laughs> Scenario pulls out a couple of these things. and uh... <laughs> oh, A couple? Fucking gun caught a bitch. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be so metal. I'll need glimmer gear to make me more ammo, but <laughs> you're gonna shoot that thing underground? Well none of us will be able to hear after that. Yeah. What do you call it? Uh Cenarius just got serious, you yell, as you backflip over the ooze and fill it with lead. <laughs> oh my god. She doesn't, doesn't realize that the, exp the explosion of the guy would be really bad in here. Yeah. <laughs> He's not very wise. Yeah, um... Oh. Alright, well... It would be a travesty to lose one of these stars after it takes so long to make one. Oh well. Uh, so near, um, Glimmer Gear will, shall reach into his cloak and pull forth a glimmering star. All right, and huck it forth. I thought you were going to pull down your pants. That's also an option. I don't think I want to go with it yet, though. Is that your secret attack? Of course. Do you get backstab off? That will hit. Nice. Hey! That's a lot of damage. You see him grip the grip the star in a, in, a, in a fashion that you haven't seen before. Snap his wrist forward. Thing goes flying. You hear a, a sickening spooch as it hits the ooze. See it slowly, slowly, still rotate and tumble and stop dead center. 
you can hear the faint sizzle and pop of metal being corroded. Hmm. Guess you can't use that store again. Nope. Does the ooze seem affected? It lost some splooge. It let off some splooge, did it? Did it, Mark? So what happened to the splooge? And it's, and oh, the it, it, you, you think it's oozing? It's... All right. Now quickly, finish it off. I don't want to waste yeah, any I'm more. I'm not sure if you guys can see the help bar on that thing, but... Yes, it just popped up. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> yeah, end of the round. Sneer's going to make everybody deaf. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll end my turn. After setting down a trap card, of course. And that's the end of my turn. Yugi boy. Oh, Yugi boy. Okay, I'm gonna use. I'm gonna throw my regular darts at it. I've, I've deleted the the rule for the regular darts in my attacks, but I'll just take the plus one off the okay. plus ones for now. When you. Okay, so we're up. Okay, I'll just see you. That will just hit. Nice. And I'll get two more at the end of the round. That's low. Yeah, I reckon I'm still going to try the magic muscle. Yeah. Looks like weapons do damage. Okay. Bear with me. I'll just quit working. I'm getting it back home. That's okay. Um, as you release the energy to form these arcane bolts, uh, you slam into them, and nothing seems to happen. Ah, okay. That's what I figured. Immune to magic. Joy. Magic. Yep. Uh, that's a waste of one magic missile spell. Mark. Yeah, I don't. I don't have any of my the oh, regular darts. I didn't keep them, so I'll take one dart plus one off my character sheet. But you'll have to add plus one damage to that. Yeah. Again, your cat terrifies me. He's very scary looking. Two faces on him. <laughs> Epicier. <laughs> Not Epicier. No. Um, Glimmer Gear. Oh. Me? I think unless she's out there. Uh oh. Oh, I thought I, I wanted it to come for me. It is true. I hold up my hands into a slight, into a small T pose. My palms open to the ceiling. I am the biggest threat. <laughs> Just like one shot's here. <laughs> Team Rocket blasting off again. And that's where your star comes in. <laughs> mm. 
Ooh. And misses you. As this, as it seems to form a, a, a pseudopod that just strikes out at you like a snake, like a serpent would. You manage to dodge out of the way. Phew. Expensive gear saved another day. <laughs> Muska. Oh. You can get armor go. class 12, so. Boy, that took a long time to pop up. Yeah. He cast it out a while ago. Muska does hit. Oh, makes one you slice. He helps him paint as he bites into it. That's a weak bite. <laughs> Useless. Good enough to kill it. Well, it looks like he's done it, though. Oh, yes, hero of a dog. Did more than my damn magic muscle did, which upsets oh. me highly. Only lost one plus one dart. I'm all good. But he takes 14 I'll... points of damage from acid. Burn. Oh, my God. Mosca, <laughs> no. How much? Fourteen. Is he dead? I'll put my flame and oil no, away he's now. Not dead. He's that's very a, close. That's a lot of damage. Killed it though. That's a lot of damage. Good boy, Muska. Yes, he's whimpering in pain. Okay. Uh, will anybody please heal my dog? Gladly, send him on over. Thank you, buddy. Oh yeah, guys, you see him, his, his, his mouth is all fouled by the acid. It's... He's fucked up, man. Damn. He's a good boy. I'll pet him and say he's a good boy and try and comfort him while he's in all this pain. Okay, I try to wipe off the the goo with a rag and then heal him for four. He looks up at you very gratefully. And other than the gray use, there is nothing of interest up in here in this waterfall area. Let's go the other way then. Yep. Shinero just sadly puts away the gun <laughs> and then puts away the other gun. Make a dex check. Oh, <laughs> you're gonna yeah. fucking shoot yourself. Well, mm. just don't fail the Jack's check and you'll be good. Almost failed, but <laughs> we're good. You better hope he didn't give you any penalty. No. You're lucky this you didn't release the safety catch on it. <laughs> oh my god. Hmm. I thought Sonero's kit was more like ironic coincidences, not <laughs> fuck ups. 
no, like they they fuck up. It's both, but also like good shit also happens when I fuck up sometimes. Yeah, yeah, but it's like you know, huh. is that how you do it? You say uh, you want to do a bad thing and a good thing happen? No, no, it's like, it's just random. It's just like uh, I'll trip over a fucking barrel and yeah, then find like piece. a. Or you say like, piece. I want to trip here, rolls. <laughs> No, it just Mark decides when it happens. I see. It's probably it's we probably use it like the uh, the swashbuckler, like uh, what's it called? The detriment is like part of that, but it's not really a super detriment. It could be really bad, but yeah. Oh, did you choose the unlucky thing? Unlucky Sorry. and lucky. Ah, oh, that's why. All right. Yeah, my my lore is that uh, my family line was cursed <laughs> by uh, pugwampies, <laughs> uh, but then I my uh, my line was also like I was blessed by a a god of fortune and luck. So, but he couldn't get rid of the old curse, so I'm cursed right. and have a boon at the same. I see. Well, that's fun. All right, that that makes some sense then. So I, like bad, that. Bad, I, I like that interpretation. Like, bad shit happens, but generally there's, like, an okay to neutral out. Yeah, it's not like a straight, it's not like a straight swashbuckle. That's, that's cool. Yeah, like, that's cool. like, the first time we, we, we brought it into play, he actually fell off the ship's game plank, <laughs> fell head first into a muddy, muddy cracked road, ends up pulling up a gold piece out of the, out of the mark. Hmm. Fun stuff, that. So every so often, like he, when he's doing something that requires dexterity or something like that, I have him do a check. Okay, so you guys go the other way? Yep. Um, towards the waterfall? I thought yeah, we were going to check under the waterfall. Yeah, we were going to check around the waterfall. I was going to search around the area. Besides the, the besides the um, great ooze, we don't find anything of interest. Uh, so we went here. <laughs> well, even Wait, behind the waterfall? Is Scritch still even alive? Behind the water. Yeah, he's alive. So what's happened now? Nothing. Like, how wounded is he? Not wounded. And why did he scream in agony? Well, because of the, 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 the shock, the surprise. I see. I'm not expecting wet rock to all of a sudden strike out and lash it. Okay, so I guess we'll go to the other side and then northward, I think. Towards the uh, canal or whatever. Well, the canal runs from the waterfall northward. You're on a walkway that parallels. Yeah. Okay. And you come to an intersection that eventually. Um, two footbridges going with a footbridge going east west. Um, the intersection opens up into a, like a large diamond-shaped room. Tunnels lead away from the cavern in all four directions. In the center of the cavern is a, means a stepped pyramid, or a ziggurat, completely surrounded by water. Right. Anybody suspicious we ain't ran into any guard? <laughs> mm-hmm. Nope. I mean, who are they get? You know, they have to pay wage. Are people who sit there underground all day. Great Ooze is apparently eating employees. Wish. Or the Great Oozes were the guards. Ooh. Were I mean, we just transported to, to heaven? There's yeah, someone ahead. 
Yeah, thank you, voices in my head. I, I know there's someone ahead. Thank you. There's someone ahead. I have an idea. I can be the decoy. That's Nero's job. Anything particularly dangerous, it's Sonero's job. You know... Impersonate a noble, that's Sonero's job. Yeah, that's your job. Fight a guy on some scaffolding, that's Sonero's job. Yeah, but... Knock a green dragon out of the sky and become the greatest swordsman in the world, that's Sonero's job. <laughs> that's Sonero's luck. Yeah. <laughs> uh, still, that one's epic. All right. Well, if there's a person ahead, I shall use detect noise. <laughs> oh, you heard him. You yeah, also well, heard him right. opening and closing a door. And... Hmm. How many people there are, though? How many people are there, though? You only heard the one. Only the one. All right, then. Uh, anyone want to sneak ahead and see what's going on? Oh, yeah, I'm going to sneak ahead with chain mail. Ching, 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 ching. I think yeah. this is a job for Jared Mill. Yeah. Who wants to go? I'm not very sneaky. I can go if you want. Okay. I can cast invisibility. I wouldn't go that far. Sneak. Uh, your choice. If you want, it'll last until the next combat anyway. Yeah. Nah, I'm not gonna... Nah, I'll just... We'll try and sneak around. I'm really small. Have a look. Go ahead. Mark, I want to try and sneak up. Okay. Who, okay. How close can I get, and what can I? Well, you can walk. You can get around the court, around it. There's two bridges. Out, um, one in the southern portion, one in the western portion. I don't see any people up ahead. No. Okay, I'll keep going. Okay, give me a sec. What's wrong? I don't know. Turning up another audio log? No, I think I'm waiting for Mark to type something to me like... Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Did he? 
No. Might be doing it right now. I'm gonna go get a drink real quick. I'll be back. Right, I'll just go back to the group then and say the coast is clear for the time being rather than wait for him to see what's further up ahead. Oh, he lost his connection. Right, okay Mark, uh, I think I was just waiting for you to like type to me what I saw because I'm just going to keep going up ahead. And I'm back. Okay, Mark. Um, so, either I'll just go back to the group and tell them it's all clear for the time being, or if you want, I'll go further ahead and you can tell me what's... Okay, what so this is what you see as you're walking around the chasm. Okay. The cabin. Oh. You guys can see it right from the set from where you're at. So it's like an underground pyramid with water right around. And at this here, again, give me a intelligence check with a plus five bone. I suspect this is a temple to an evil god. Well, I guess we're going inside. And no, you, you as you're in, across the wall. as you're investigating, you did find um, the uh, the door to the north. Um, okay, are you going to go in? Okay. A dock protrudes from the front of the shrine at the base of a wide staircase. At the top of the stairs are two massive bronze doors flanked by a pair of identical statues. Each statue has the body of a reclining lion and the head of a man wearing an ornamental hairdress. Between its, between its lion paws, each statue cradles a large stone bowl. The bronze doors have been defaced. A message scrawled across them in the red paint which is drip down the surface. The message? Stay away. Trouble inside. Oh boy, what an adventure is welcome. The water here measures anywhere from about 8 to 10 feet deep. Eight to ten feet? The wall. The water. Oh. Yeah, the the pyramid is in a like basically in an island in the middle of this ca cavern. Like all natural, the island. It's an unnatural island. Yeah, yeah. it's a girl. Man-made. Okay. Hey, Casimir. Do you have uh, any sort of religious knowledge that could uh, tell us what this uh, is a temple to? I uh, I think I do. Hold on, let me double check in case that I, a priest, might actually have some religious knowledge. Yeah. You should have religion like me. Oh, that's Lord could tell us a bit, perhaps? It's clear where they have their house parties. You can throw a sick rager on here. Okay, so I Good made Lord. a religion roll. 160 religion? 
Yeah, as long as I'm less than 160, I'm good, right? Ah. <laughs> uh, Probably. I, I, yeah, I believe. I believe you forgot to put plus zero rather than zero. Mm. Yes, I'm almost certain that's what happened there. Yeah. Well, you know, mathematically, plus zero, minus zero, and just zero are all the same thing. Yeah, but for the sheet, it needs either the plus or the minus. Yeah. Yeah, I just fixed it. It'll be right the next time. 13 um, is still what I made it anyway. Mm-hmm. 16. You do recognize a figure or a painting of a figure um, in the temple. In the temple, our... Of a jackal-headed um, personage. Is this perhaps an evil jackal-headed person? That as I far as you can tell, before? as far as you know, no, it wasn't. But um, there, there is some slight bias. Slavery and what you learned. It's an evil motif. Yeah, I was waiting for FSEer's um, role. I'm gonna see if I have anything. <clears throat> it's a normal jackal with evil motif. You know, satanic filigree. Some demonic etching. Hm, I'm back. I need F I need an intelligence check with a plus five from Ephesir. Very angry eyes on that jackal. I fail. Sorry, guys. Actually, no, you don't. You recognize the one figure on there as being a likeness of the Mythian Immortal um, Flower. And I'll put that out here. Some sort of weird Mr. and Immortal. Oh. <laughs> Is that like Michelle Pfeiffer? It's flaw. The P is silent. Yeah. Fucking sweet. Oh, yeah, it's a... Uh, it's created by a uh, wizard. The, uh, the thing there? Or the the god? Thing. Oh. oh. Like it's living? Flar. No. Oh. I mean, the actual deity itself. Oh, it was created by a wizard. Mm hmm. A Nithian wizard, that's why I know it. Uh, Nithian? Nif Nymphian? No. Let's not go Empress back to Nympho. Nympho. Empress Nympho Damn of it. the Nymphians? Damn it. Back to 
back to this again, are we? <laughs> How do you say that thing's name anyway? Clockering sex dungeon. Floor. Floor. You know what that sounds like? Michelle Pfeiffer. Sounds like her. Never mind. Sounds like one of them queef sounds, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> Excuse me, I flaunted. That does back up our uh, <laughs> saying of being Nympians. Spelled flar, pronounced flar. I like it. There's a when there's a p in front. There's a really, really faint p sound before the f, as in fucking. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Prostate. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> right. So priests, let's have a let's have a nice council, and uh, just decide we're going to demolish this, this obelisk here. But ziggurat, ziggurat. I missed baby. a minute or two. I had to deal with my dogs. Uh, so is this a good ziggurat or a bad ziggurat? Undetermined. Undetermined. One all of the the, although you can make out. Barely make out um, on the bronze doors and red paint. Uh, stay away, trouble inside. Hey guys, there's trouble inside. Let's go in. Oh, a warning sign never kept us out of any That's place. What we're gonna do. Ha -ha. Red guys lights start to appear everywhere. Red alert, red alert. You know what that sign really says? It says XP inside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That sounds like a murder hobo to me. <laughs> the adventurers welcome that. I see. Bunch of dirty <laughs> murder hobos. You're not a murder hobo until you find out you're a thousand experience short where you were defending the village from the ogres and then so you kill the villagers to make it. How do you know my stats? I'm a cleric wizard. No, not you. So destroy the ziggurat or go down the uh, the danger hallway? Well, that's where the that's danger where door. The, that's, that's, that's where the that's doors are. That's where the danger is. Yeah, the, 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 the ziggurat has the doors painted that on it. I say we go to the ziggurat. I just like that sound, the ziggurat. That's good. But again, how do you know my stats, Chair? There's a quick. There's a. Uh, he did a macro for. Okay, so how are you going to get across there? Again, the water is about 8 to 10 feet deep. Oh yeah, let the, the uh, how right is the water. Down. No convenient any, boats any, anywhere, any, huh? Nope, no convenient boats anywhere. The water is anywhere from 8 to 10 feet deep. I make a convenient boat. How wide is it? How far across is it on the water? So essentially, it's a kiddie pool. Did... Did Sonero just say he made a boat? It's about... Um, I make a convenient make boat. Convenient. You uh, find a boat with a hole in it. Five feet away from where you're at. Uh, if you walked across the bridge to the other side of the canal um, to where the dock is. Uh, it's about five feet from, from the walkway to the dock. 
on the uh, zero rock. So it's only a five foot jump. Yeah, but you're only on a five, but you're on a fall on a five foot walkway. Five foot wide walkway. So basically, it's a dexterity check. Yeah, I was gonna say because at my size, even at my size, I should be able to do at least my body length as a standing jump. We got especially, rope. We can connect people together. You throw you, especially if you throw your gear across for. Okay. Yeah, but then I have to take off my armor and then put it back on. No, nope. you can always you jump always in it, jump and then you get them. swimming practice in armor. No, not any. Takes a little one jump, lands on the other side to the. Yeah, I'm with Team Sonero in this magically appearing boat. Or we could back whoever wants to go across first all the way up to the wall. One person grab each arm and just sling him, shot him across. <laughs> yeah. You'll make it, we're just not sure how you'll land. Or, or, jumped across. or I make a bridge. Oh, that's a great idea, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, make a bridge. Just casual. I need that spell. Make a bridge. Yeah, wish I had that spell. Well, yeah, cast like an illusion of a, of a bridge. Hey, if you believe it, it works. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just don't be like Wiley e. Coyote and look down. I see. <laughs> Watch it. So, either so, Snow's actually offered two options: you can come up with a boat, or you can come up with a bird. Or we can jump it. Well, I can jump it, but. Well, guys, I already jumped, jumped it. It's easy. I we really it. only need one to jump it and anchor the rope or rope somewhere and we can snatch the rest of you across. Yep. There you go. I'll anchor a rope. Yep. Well, if you want to do that, and I jump across. Next shot. This will be the time. You catch your footing on the, you, you catch the heels of your boots on the edge of the, edge of the dock, but you're able to maintain your. I I, I do like that, the uh, the uncontrollable like stutter fall, where I'm just like not quite falling but not quite steady. Ah uh, yeah well, yeah blah yeah ah. Uh, uh, yeah, you manage to step forward instead of stepping back. And you slightly fall on your face. Do you have iron spikes to hammer in to the zero? I do. Perfect. Melopony and Scenario. Now that you're on the dock, you can see that these uh, sphinxes, these stone sphinxes, are massive. Hmm. Maybe you could put the other rope onto one of the sphinxes. Be confident, Atreyu. The bowls are designed to seem to be like offering bowls. Um, unfortunately, they've been they're empty. Maybe we need to put some foot in. I propose we each put in one gold coin into each bowl. Okay. It's a lot to put in. in a... I shall go first, but first, I must reach the dock, and I shall try jumping there. And I try jumping. 
Oh, okay. What do I need to roll? Dex jump. Dex. Yeah, it'd only be a five foot jump. Yep, you can just man manage to clear it. Come to a, a, a sliding. And then I place one gold coin into each bowl. Ching, ching, okay. ching. Nothing at it. <clears throat> and I try to open the door. Although the although the doors are made of bronze and they seem quite heavy, open quite easily. That's always a good sign. I How look thick are inside. Now the only difficulty is getting the uh Cheap mail guy across. Actually, I'm just going to kind of wait if we see a spray of blood and screams come out the door. I'm staying where I'm at. <laughs> How thick are the bronze doors? As the doors, oh, they're quite thick. Again, they seem swing quite open. They quite swing, swing easily open. Jer, as it swings open. An eight-foot-tall man comes into view. Quickly, it becomes obvious that he is a well-crafted statue. His head and face, I mean his face and headdress, match those of the lion-like statues outside the doors. He is bare-chested and barefoot, and wears a loincloth that hangs to his knees. He stands poised with arms spread wide, as if to welcome any who comes before him. Uh, he hello, I've made an offering in your bowls. You see, one gold coin in each. Oh, it's fine. Tomas, look at the statue. Uh, hello, hello. I I say I I've made an offering in your bowls. May I pass, please? And again, no response. Come on, Mark. I'm waiting for that. I only take offerings in blood. <laughs> Are the rest of us over there yet? I uh, I think we should gather. Uh, up I only see um. Yeah, I if you guys, yeah, I suppose you guys can find your way to get. Oh, okay. Did I, everybody else just say they're going over? Yeah, I want to go over. I mean, I do, but I also don't want to clear that because I know I'm gonna probably fall. Yeah, my debt's twelve. I really don't want to jump this thing. Yeah, any way I can help, I can help from range. How about you tie a rope onto yourself so that they can pull you up if you... Yeah, that's what I want to do. Try to jump across, smack into the water, and they can drug up the side I mean, of this fucking dock. If the, uh, the gap is only five feet wide... Like, sooner just hold out an arm, you can grab my arm, and I can just help you across. That sounds good, because at least that way if I'm going, you're going with me. And I can actually swim.
And I'm tying myself off to the iron spike anyway, so. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm going to climb your ass like a spider monkey if we fall in. You know that, don't you? Like I said, I can swim. And if I get on the dock, I'll get off of it. Um, Dex check with a plus five bonus. Because of scenario helping you, I'll give you the plus five bonus for the next check. Hey, I made it. Even mm -hmm. without the even without the bonus you have made. Damn, he's showing off. I'm ready to jump across. Somebody help me on the other end. I'm here. Again, I knew that boost confidence in this The five the plus five. Mark is just waiting for me to jump. Oh. Yeah, this went badly, even with the plus five bonus. Yeah, Kazimir. At least you didn't crit fail. Yeah, you jump. Don't quite make it. This is all your fault. You're so close, you actually, you're so close, you actually smack your chin on the dock and knock yourself. Strength check for scenario. No, that's a crit fail. Uh, strength. Yeah, because all of a sudden, all you see is weight of Kazimir's weight just pulled down on your shoulder. <laughs> you're literally <laughs> wrenching it from his side. That's a no. Uh, correction. Wrenching it from its socket. Ooh. Oh. Oh, I will come oh. to your assistance on that. A million dollar arm. Uh, we'll come rent. We're gonna refer to it. And Mark, 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 you important, drop. Important question: Which arm? Rapier. No. The more important question is whose arm? Sunil's arm. Sunil's arm. Uh, no, okay, we gotta help him. I do this because my character okay. enjoys this. We will get a bracing grip on the arm itself. If only I could help. one on his one on one on his shoulder, and then wrench violently backing up, reseating the socket. We need to get him out first. Don't worry about my fucking arm. Eh, he'll be all right. He's gonna stay right, pretty much where he landed. He's about to do some constitution checks, man. I was yeah. worried the water was gonna be endless. Oh yeah, am I stuck in the water? Because I need to get um, it. what are you wearing? Armor wise, splint mail. Oh my yeah. god, how yeah. tall are you? Um, how tall and normal, oh. you know, like 5'10. You're in the five foot section, so you can actually have your nose above you, water. You got about, yeah, you got you're about, you got about a good three feet wide. So he's underwater, he's underwater. I'll grab the rope and start pulling on it, but I ain't going to be able to lift him out, but I can get his head above water. And our only swimming guy has a dislocated arm. This oh is my such God. a fucking clusterfuck right now. It's so bad. I just wanted to get across. <laughs> well, we pull him to his head above water. No, the only I thing you can say is... Burr, burr, burr. That's all you can say. Okay, yeah. So I try to say that, and it comes out like. Bleh, 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 bleh. Like I said, I'll, I'll take the slack up in the rope and pull you up as high as you head above water. But I'm not going to be able to pull you up onto the dock. I'm not strong enough. Good. Why don't you try? It? We'll get in that one. Man, nah, my strength of twelve, trying to lift a fully armored guy out of the water. I don't see it happening. I didn't try to roll it, but I just don't. You have see more it. strength than I do. Almost two. So is he at risk of drowning or? Mm -hmm. No, as long as you can keep them above water, like uh, like um, what Aslar's trying to do. Hey, I'll be damn! I got a chance for success. Once I once I get my head above water, can I reach up to the dock around the ziggurat and pull myself? Yeah, yeah, you, you can. The, the dock is at water level. 
Yeah, great. I just need to get my hands on it. I got I got a 16 strength. I can I ought to be able to pull myself. Yeah, well, I, I, I get you pulled up then because I made a check and it. Yeah, he, us. yeah, he, 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 yeah. He was able. To, hmm. That leaves just um, at this here on the other side or and Glimmer Gear, right? Yeah. Right. I yeah, just, he's light though. Yeah, I'm just gonna hop across. 18, I think I have 17 or 18 max. I think 18. Yeah. I need to set some arrows arm. 18 decks. I'm good. I just hopped across. I go, I am here! What's up? Ooh. Yeah, you see that, uh, Cenero's arm? Uh, I just sneak Sorry. behind him. I sneak behind him, set it anyway, pop two good berries in his mouth, and go on my merry way. And the good berry... berry... They'll give you back two points of any damage you took. Now, you, didn't also gives any, you... you didn't take any actual damage. You just, it yeah. just wrenched your shoulder out. So you have to yeah, but it'll that. make it's a feel good thing then. Plus, now you don't have to eat a meal today. Yeah. Man, so FS here is just pacing back and forth on the other side, debating. Yeah. After seeing what happened to Kazim, I'm just tapping my foot on the ground, kind of waiting. So. Oh, hold on, on, guys. This is, this has happened before. Her, I try to pop back. It's already been popped back. <laughs> I rotate it in the cup and pop it back out. <laughs> no, you didn't set it right. God damn it. I'm just standing there, staring at him, going, "What the hell are they doing?" I'm waiting still. For you're the last one to go. Yeah, I jump. Know. Not, okay, I'm gonna jump. Am I getting help? Throw a rope to you. Tie that around you. <laughs> I can't help anyone. Okay, I'll uh, tie a rope around me from the... Well, the... can you guys throw a rope? Yeah, he did throw... he threw a rope. Okay, so, so I tie Each of those packs me. came with 50 feet of rope. Each of those uh, starting adventuring kits came with 50 feet. Yeah, I'm going to jump a... I'm going to tie it around me and then just... So let me make a check. Oh, wrong thing. I know that's the right thing. Hey, hey. I passed. I quite emerged you too. Okay. So you're all no, on the no. other side of the ox uh, on your on the docks. Um uh, Maybe one minor set. I walk up and look in those two bowls. Is the gold piece still up? Yep. Does it look like that's what's been in them before? Or does it look like, or is it stained like it contained oil or fuel or anything at one time? It's not. This is your stone. These are um, basalt stone bowls. Salt stone. Black. Uh. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm not impressed by that, so I'm not going to put anything else in it, but I'll go stand and look in the doorway. Again, you see what Jerry sees, a uh, statue of an eight-foot tall man. The face and the headdress he's wearing matches those of the sinks-like statues outside the temple shrine. He's wearing a loincloth that hangs to his knees. He's bare-chested. His arms in a, in, a, in a gesture of welcome. Are you able Go to give him a hug? Are you able to get past him? He looks like he wants a hug. <laughs> um, yeah, you can get. But he, he is um about five feet from the door, and you can tell there is an open there is an open space around the statue. Okay. I guess I'll go. If nobody else is gonna go. Okay, so I'll, I'll uh. I'll past. walk in, but I'm not going near the statue. Yeah, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna go around with my uh, shield, like aimed at him, kind of like to protect me. Whoa, this is spooky.
As soon as you enter the space, this is what you hear. Oh, they're gonna sacrifice this dude. I think we gotta hurry, guys. I think they're gonna sacrifice. What? Okay. So, I'm gonna yeah, go in with you. Yeah, I'm gonna go in. You further. fucking what, mate? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha oh, oh. And I have my lantern lit, by the way. You see it? Oh, my arm. <laughs> Guys, as you're why as you're hearing this, those who have not entered in, notice that the lips of the statue are moving as you hear those words. Um, Epicure. I want you to make an intelligence check. I assume at base, right? Um Yes, at base. I fail, yeah, I fail. The language is familiar to you. So it's an old language. As a matter of fact, you do understand what you say. Hmm. All ye who enter here abandon all of <laughs> Yeah. Welcome to my parlor. Welcome to the Cochrane Dungeon of Sex. Welcome to my nightmare. Welcome to the city of Atlanta. I mean, that guy did have a loincloth on and no shirt, so... So... It really isn't helping their case. <laughs> Uh, that's just great. We made it on all mail night. That sucks. <laughs> yeah, I was <laughs> for a different night. Uh, excuse me, I think I'm here on the wrong night. I'll just be going right back out here onto the dock. <laughs> nope. Okay. Dude, this is so spooky. So, did anybody else think to have the emergency tattoos done where it says exit only? Master, oh, th you can actually hear what it says. No, this is what you can hear. It's playing for everyone. This is what you. This is what you hear from the previous speech. I just caught master of the ever. Oh, is this actually movie. translated? This is yes. Well, nobody else can see it. Whatever it is. Okay, it's just, there's a statue. Okay, it's, it's speaking. Do it's not imagine myself. I mean, when you guys entered the first two, when you guys first entered, everyone but Ephesir heard this. I'm sorry, I, I don't hear it. Are you playing a track? Yes, I am. Yeah, I, I think he's playing it for me only. It's on no, back on I, I got it for all? I got it for all, yeah, for all. It's not working. I can't hear Go it. Go to your roll 20 settings. Well, it's, it's a bunch of gibberish anyway. Oh. Yeah, you can re... re yeah. My yeah, master music volume level was all the way down. I see. That explains. Yeah, we've been playing those audio tracks throughout the entire session. Yeah. Shit. Well, that's a little bonus we missed out on, because mine was all the way down. Yeah, that's, what, that's how uh, we figured out that um, old Scritch was attacked by Grey Oozes. Yeah, yeah, that's like that's why I was like, what the fuck? What happened to Scritch? Yeah. <laughs> Can you play the one that I... The one I could understand again. Know you who enter here that this is the revered tomb of our 
And this is what Ephesir is able to translate for you guys. Pay him your respects, but do not desecrate his home to his life vessel, this house for his servants, and the world beyond life, for you shall know their Ooh. Do not desecrate. <laughs> uh, wife vessel. Yeah. We or should, we should know their wrath. wrath. Who's the guy again? You know. Uh... I'm in Hep something. Mm -hmm. This is his tomb. And there's traps in the tomb. Oh, yeah, well, there's definitely traps in here. Well, time to desecrate. <laughs> yep, desecrating time. Yep. Okay, after hearing all that, uh, uh, I'd like to check uh, my religion skill, see if I can figure out. I'm still trying to figure out whether this is a good guy or a bad guy. If you're talking about that jackal, he's, I think he's neutral. Okay. I nailed my religion check. Anybody have history? History might be able to tell us what uh, this Flar is. Yeah. No, 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 what Flar is, what this Imahotep is. Uh, uh, okay, I thought you had a one there for a second. I was going to say, oh, damn. Okay, so I nailed it. Um, it uh, Flar. Flar, yeah. Actually, you passed it. It's a 16 out of 16. It's a pass. Yeah, yeah so... Technically. Unless you had a penalty, then it'd be a foul. Well, irregardless, I can back him up with the same roll, and I rolled a 5 out of 16. But for some reason, checker just ain't working. When I click on it, it says something about a check, so I'm missing Mark, do they know anything about the uh, Hippoterran? Whatever his name is. And Floor. Oh, who left? That was my mark. Hey, Ryan. You... you me? Oh, yeah, Ryan. I'm still with us. Hey, bud, I got a call coming in I'm going to have to take, and I'm not sure how long it'll take. Just run my character until I get back. Tell Mark mm -hmm. you can make the roll for him. Okay. Appreciate it. There you go. That's the information. 
that suddenly pops into your head. Yep. Oh. And I... do you think? What's the dude's name again? Well, wait, oh, uh, uh, and Hepa Terran? King yeah. Hepa Terran. Do you think that was Flar's original creator? Maybe. And yeah. uh, we disturb his tomb that Flar would be there? Maybe. Hey. So are we gonna try to uh, go against him tomorrow? No oh yeah, this no, is a great no. idea. Flar was basically a Nithian immortal. Um, uh huh. So he was prevalent in images of him was prevalent amongst most of their works. Just like if you looked at some of uh, our din our Egyptian. Uh, images and, and artwork, you notice that there are various images of, of Anubis and Osiris and Set and Horus play all about the place in the in the artwork and, and pink. Alright, so unrelated then I think, right? Yeah. But the Nithians culture has was wiped out long ago. Traces are hard to come by. Um, you guys are surprised that there was that you're coming across this under threshold. Yeah, it is weird. <laughs> but Ephesus is not so surprised by it because of his back. Mm-hmm. Being okay. from the time when the Nithian Empire was just on, on the verge of its core. Yeah. Uh, so I guess we'll continue on. Moving right along. But I have a bad feeling that Stone's gonna wake up and start attacking them. So. <clears throat> So there is. There are 27 crypts lining the walls of this shrine. There's a pool of water in the center uh, surrounded by three alcoves. Each of the alcoves houses a wall of nine crypts, stacked three across and three high. Only the end panel of each of the crypts is visible, flush with the wall itself. Extravagant carvings adorn each panel, depicting humans in garb similar to that of the statue outside the doors and on the balcony. So basically, they're just they're images of humans dressed similarly to the uh, statue, kilts uh, or loincloths. Um, Hairstyles. Um, basically, think of the ancient Egyptian hieroglyph uh, paintings and seen in various history books. And...
So what are you guys gonna do? Um. Uh, I guess go into the like continue into the ziggurat or whatever. Yeah, we need to go in. Again, like I said. Okay, so the map of the shrine, the shrine basically is a, composed of a large pool with a walkway around it. And in each of the alcoves, in the north, the south, and the west walls of the shrine, the west wall being opposite of the uh, opening, you see a wall of crypts. Three cross, three high. So a total of nine crypts in each wall of the wall, each of the walls. Okay, so uh, are there carvings that we can try to read? The carvings on the are similar to hieroglyphics of being of ancient Egypt, um, Mithian script. Um, if you have ancient languages, I I, I have read languages. Any bonuses? I don't think you could read ancient Mithian. Yeah, but I have a uh, what do you call it? I have read uh, I have read languages. The bard skill. Okay. Just a flat roll, then? Yeah, I'll be a flat roll. Nope. If anything, maybe um, Ephesir could probably make it out if he can. Mm-hmm. I mean, I can try. What do you want me to roll to attempt? Mm. You'll give a whistle. You can make out family names of uh, similar to Ki uh, Hamantep, um, and their servants and, and names of uh, other people. Uh, oh. Basically, about a third of the um, crypts. Are all Kihimtep's family. The other two, the, the rest were servants. From your knowledge of the Nithians, um, when a, a, per, a great personage has died, fa their family and their servants were killed with them ceremoniously to be with them in the afterlife. Mm -hmm. Sounds familiar. Yeah. Yes, it does. Um, so I guess we, they're just, uh, crypts for their, you know, the bodies. So we can probably assume that they're the, uh, Is there a way to get around and go deeper? Yeah, there is a walkway around, around the, around the inner, the inner, saint, the, the central, um, Well, 
gents, shall we? And lady. Let's do Shall we go deeper? <laughs> yeah. Let's do it! Into the nymph! <laughs> Ooh. Is that what they make? Is that the noise they make when when we say go into the nymph? Ooh. Hmm. Seems Darth, Darth had to go, I think. Yeah. Seems like it. We got an important phone call again. No, but everything's okay. Yeah, right? Oh, man. <laughs> okay, so we're pressing on past this room, or... Yeah. Or what? I think, I think I, we're pressing I have... on in general, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think we want to crash, uh, smash any uh, tombs open. That would probably no. invite problems. Not not yet, at least. <clears throat> so these are servants anyway. They're small fry. I'm they guessing. The big prize at the end. I'm I'm guessing the treasure here sucks, anyways. Actually, no. That could be a magical item. You think? Yeah. Hmm. Because Nethia magic items were pretty common. Actually. Not a servant's tomb. They can come back if we're still hungry for more, I think. Well, these are these are family tombs, too. Are they family? Mm hmm they were, yes. they were still Yeah, see? So, if, if we want, we can check them out later. They're probably going to be mummies, though. Well, I we can't deal with 27 mummies. Yeah. That's why you pull out one at a time. Hey, <laughs> you should pull out. I doubt they'd be so, so kind. As to let us duel 27 mummies, one after another. <laughs> <laughs> In sequence. Yeah, and I doubt be... that would be any fun any anyway. Why don't we go to, like, uh... What are they called? Perhaps we should set fire to twenty-seven mummies one at a time. We should go in. We should go into like a like a a small like hallway, like a five-foot wide hall, and then just basically train them in. That'd be funny. Uh, here's the map. I like a map. It. I don't think we're supposed to be able to see that. Mm. Now, with the elves in the party, uh, go ahead and roll those d6. There we go. We're, oh. we're set. Oh my. I'm yeah. to see here, folks. We can't even see it anymore. It doesn't even exist. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, so I'm, there's water in here as well. I'm oh going, yeah, oh, yes. I'm make going a d6 to search for roll. That's what you said. I'm going to search for secret doors here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I wonder why. <laughs> no, I think it's right here. <laughs> nah, it's... <laughs> oh my god. So each of the alcoves have are, are a bank of three of crypts. Three crypts wide by three crypts. Mm-hmm. Well, there's nothing else in here, so... Hmm. Hmm. Maybe we're supposed to search for a secret door somewhere. <laughs> Is there any, uh, tracks leading to, like, maybe here? <laughs> I'm joking. It'd be kind of funny if, like, you know, we were searching for this, like, kidnapped guy and suddenly got caught in, like, an Indiana Jones treasure hunt. Yeah. <laughs> and we come back to the surface just swimming with gold. This lady's uh, like, where's my husband? <laughs> and like, oh, nothing. shit, we forgot! <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, my God. We're fucking rich, bitch. 
<laughs> I'll buy you a new husband. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Miss Nero. Um, uh -oh. you can't even lean up against the wall. Oh God, I lean against you because I'm tired. Uh. Um, you hear a the sound of a click and it's the like sound of stoners. You hear a click and what? And the sound of stone on stone. Oh. You accidentally opened a secret door. I like that. <laughs> accidentally. <laughs> you guys just couldn't find it. Yeah, I bet we couldn't. Just a guess, but was it here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, so now it just happens to be casually laying right against the wall there. Okay, so well, that was fortuitous. The whole section, that whole section, just that whole section of wall just slides right up. Wow. Hey, Sanero. Okay. Hey, hey, Sanero. Look what I found—a secret room. <laughs> it's filled with jars and urns and bowls. So, what's in this secret room? It's just got shelves. The shelves are, but are are jars, urns, um, bowls. Um, there is a coffer. Is there a trap door in this secret room? <laughs> yes. Right underneath <clears throat> your feet. <gasps> and I fall. <laughs> And then the only noise you can hear is a, a like a small sound of a ding from the chainmail landing on the ground. Okay, so there's urns and books in here. Bowls. Bowls. Bowls and books. Okay. Bowls, jar, bowls, bowls, jars, and urns. jars, urns. There's a coffer. There's a coffer? A coffer. Yes. It's a guy standing in the back coughing. <laughs> oh, you beat me to it. I'm gonna make that joke. Can I open this coffer? Oh. Okay. Can I open the coffer? Okay, I'm gonna open the coffer. You open it, and it's filled with gold jewelry. <laughs> you can make out oh, rings hell. and bracelets, and there's a ceremonial headdress um, of gold, of woven gold. Whoa! The the, the front of the headdress of the headpiece is an image of a vulture and a snake. Um, side by side. Interesting. Ooh, do we have a detect magic in here? Yeah, <laughs> we need to hit this place up with some detect magic. I can do that. Sure. I do think it. Ansel also has a, a memorized spell. Yeah, well, let's just... Figure out what everything is, and then uh, detect magic on the whole lot of it. I would at least do it to that sh that coffer. Yeah, you know, he can do he can do everything here, including the crypt and the walkway and the statue. So much magic, you can't even exist. You just suddenly disappear, like you got snapped, like from Thama. Let me put you guys on the map. Um, um scale is a little too small for the tokens, but. The the token you have saved, or the token you have saved my character sheet, uh, doesn't read all my stats and all my names. Oh, uh, that's because you renamed your token without renaming. Oh, is your that how it works? 
Yeah. And then mm. Master Magic Heroes. Yeah, 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 your actual name is actually way too long. It bleeds into others. <laughs> so oh, that, I think you can save. That you can save a token yeah. different. Yeah. No, it. A token. Your your token has to have at least the first word of the name that's on your character sheet in order to read it. Hmm. All right then. And then anything after the first word is okay. So you can put, you know, if the first word on your character sheet is doctor, you can put on your token, you can put, you know, doctor butt sniffer, Ooh. and it'll still work. <laughs> All right. I'll just fill my HP in. So, has the statue moved any? No. But again, you keep hearing the yeah the, the, the stop it goes off every minute how deep is the water here water here is about 10 feet 10 feet deep can I see anything beneath the surface yes what can I see It's a giant crocodile! Run! No, it's like a really big gray ooze. <laughs> and then it eats all my armor. It's an abolith. Oh my god. That would be metal. <laughs> so many of us would die. It just mind controls scenario and he blends us. No, it's a gelatinous ooze. That looks like water. You find... There, a boat, or what remains of a boat. Let's see, is it still floating, or? No, it's below the surface. Okay. Does it look like it has anything Wait. in it? Wait, is it a ship or a boat? A funerary boat. Of okay, the Nithian okay. design. I thought that was uh, my, uh, I thought that was my boat. I was, I was like... <laughs> No, it's a small boat. I'm just going to run on the toilet. There it is. A, what appears to look like a linen wrapped body lying on the bottom of the floor, of the pool. I don't want that thing coming over to me. Is it wearing anything besides maybe cloth? Mm. Or does it have like a a sword in its hand, maybe? It's a mummified body, as you can tell. Uh huh. Is there anything else within that wreckage of a boat that I can see? That I can see. No. He is holding a crook, uh, 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 what appears to be a shepherd's crook in one arm, in one hand, and a flail in the other. Uh, And as you guys were sitting in that secret room, I'm pop in there, you hear the sound of metal hitting stone. Wait, is the door being closed? No, um, the door's not being closed, but the 
bronze caps that were on this wall, all nine of them, are now lying on the floor. Okay, we're good. And whoever... Okay. Um, and whoever cast Detect Magic, nine human shapes are glowing in their vision. It's ghosts! Those are the guys making the noises. They... I get ready to turn on dead. Okay. As nine skeletons emerge from those crypts right there. Wait. That's a lot of skeletons. Skeletons? Yes. Hmm. Uh, nine more merge here. And nine more. This is an uphill battle, guys. There's 27 skeletons coming out. 27 <sighs> spooky, scary skeletons. It's time to turn their asses, man. You can only get one group at a time. Maybe two, depending on how he's facing. Or we can wait and then turn him. That's what I would do. I would wait until they get closer. Well, I would I would move away first, but then I'd turn. You guys there? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Skeletons. <laughs> so we only got two people on the board technically. Um I can put I can move you guys out there. Yeah, I can move you guys over there too, can you Yeah, because we're about to have combat. It's time for some experience. Not very much experience. She's a normal skeleton. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe they have magical items on them. Skeletons are like. That'll give us a lot of experience. Thirty-five XP. You only get the XP for creating. You get the XP for what? Creating. Uh, magical item. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so up to 27 skeletons. Yep. And assuming they're normal skeletons, I can only destroy 2d6. Well, I wouldn't destroy... Yeah, 2d6 hit dice, yeah. They're all one hit dice, right? I think it's two six, whatever. Skulls are one hit dice, yes. See, do you want to destroy him or do you want to turn? Well, he can. I think he's at the level where he, if he does turn them, they do. They are destroyed. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Mm, well then, turn destroy them. Turn destroy. So, uh, do we need to do initiative, or can I just start destroying? In an attempt to turn them, yes. Okay, it's an automatic D, so two D six, and of them are destroyed. Oh yeah, just roll two D six real quick. Well, I, I, I'm sure if you use the turntable, that's all that farm. I didn't hear all that, but yeah. So um, yeah, if you use the, the, the turn with that you if you click on the token you got that turn. Oh yeah.
Okay, it says eight eight undead turn and run, but they're actually destroyed. Destroyed, right. And um Okay, so you get about a third of them. So nineteen more. Hey, hey um What? That's a lore. You can turn to I right or no, he can't. Oh. Dark oh, okay. Cat. Sorry, Sega. He cannot turn on that. I don't think. Okay. Hey, I see that Muska still hurt. Uh, so keep Muska out yeah. of fight. You think? She's just a dog. I'm gonna buy another one. Damn, cold. I bought them for one purpose. Can't turn on that, so. Um. Anyone? Uh, I guess it's time for combat. Yep. Mm -hmm. Unless someone has like holy water. Need to build up the effect. Hey, I rolled a one. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I'm back. I just had to get it. Kool-Aid, cup, drink. Gonna class on large slash reduce. Skeletons emerging from the walls. I'm casting these. I'm using the Goblin King's longsword. They think we've desecrated this place. But we have. <laughs> That's the problem. We did.
these enemies? They don't seem to have any weapons. Like, oh, it was like a joke. It was a joke. <laughs> you gonna rip their arms off? Yeah, absolutely. It's not my turn, though. That is the professor's turn. Actually, I could start punching these guys and killing them. Um... That's what I was thinking. I was able to try and punch them as I am through darts at them. There, do you have a, uh... A blunt weapon? <clears throat> no, uh, un unless I turn my sword sideways. Hmm, then you could use this extra damage then. En all right, biggity boggity, enlargity, and I will uh, turn over, arch, arc my back, and point two fingers, and.
email. I've got now 14. No, two, three. I've got three attacks.
Just gonna run and get a drink a bit one minute. Like, like a corpse wrapped in rotting linen. And submerged for ten score generations. Who desecrates my watery grave? Depart from me, lest ye join me in death. Look, the doors are beginning to shut. We're going to be sealed in.
By the way, each of these squares are two and a half feet, just to remind you guys. Um, I'm not going by, yeah, we're going to go by that scale. Um, two and a half feet? It's a, it's normally yeah. like go five foot square, but this, they did two and a half feet per square in this. Yeah. <clears throat> He's going to go bad with this guy. You're going to send Muska to... <laughs> well, no, there's a bunch of skeletons here. You can't really do that. Yeah, I only have, uh, I only, because of the scale, I didn't okay, want to put on more of the scale, tokens. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, look did, at the blood splatter from the poor, from from the poor dog. <laughs> did I did I lose a level when the guy touched me? No. Oh. Thank goodness. Bonus. The skeleton was through you into the water. The white has an attack you. Oh okay. And, Wait, uh, why are you attacking me? <laughs> There's no token for the skeleton, so I just have to click something. You can just click on the token of the skeleton that's on uh, the board. Shouldn't Muska's HP bar be full because it's been two weeks since the last dungeon? Mm, he no, got no, hit he, by that. He, no, I got hit in the last scary. one. Oh. Yeah, I did. What about well, that? He, he almost bit the dust, it was close. What about that, Slur? He took damage as well. Aslar is AFK right now. Oh. Yeah, he took damage because uh, uh, I think there was a secret door, and the secret door had a, uh, a yeah. crate. Yeah, yeah, from yeah, the um, yeah, yeah. Oh. slammed he right He got hit by. Yeah, he got. He took a point of damage from a, a bottle falling on him. Okay. And you yeah. guys entered into the first entered into the. Oh, that's right. He has an anti venom uh, bottle on him. Yep.
Nice. <laughs> nice. That's one spell I've been meaning to uh, write in my campaign. Ten foot by ten foot square area. Oh, that's big. On this map. Yes, it is. That's uh, actually ten foot by ten foot. It would be wow. two by two squares. Mm -hmm. I could grease the uh, normal, uh, yeah, normal five foot grid, yeah, it's two by two. Yeah, uh, but, but it's it's double that. It'd be so four, four by four. four. Yeah, four by if four. If we use the map scale. If we use the map scale and not the world twenty. Yeah. So it would literally cover this entire walkway and more.
epic for the end of combat. I've got to pick up, yeah, pull up my paper. Um, I've got to pull up my paper uh, turn tracker. Well, now it's time to loot. Because these guys were jerks, so. Uh... Well, explore at least.
Oh, you're saying like ale or beer or something? Yeah, some good shit that fortifies. New whiskey. Yeah, man. Beer would go bad. Whiskey might stay forever. Mm-hmm. Whiskey wasn't invented until way after this.
for the game. It was fun. Thanks for dimming. Thank you. See you guys next you guys week. You guys have a good one. Yeah, uh, you too. See you guys next week. Yeah, see, see you next week. And for our viewers, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next week. Uh, please explore the links to our Patreon and PayPal. The PayPal is for small one-time donations. Patreon is for uh, monthly pledges as little as $1 gets you a bunch of uh, perks. And hopefully we see you uh, tomorrow when I DM the orb of Solonaut Hex.